What's up, Broke Ass Nation? We're back here in the shop, and today we're talking nitrous. All right, so as you guys saw, this V6 is quite underwhelming in the power department. So we're gonna give this thing a little bit of a boost here. We have this wet kit from Nitrous Express. Uh, this is their Proton series. We have jetting for up to 200 horsepower. So, I mean, that should be sufficient for our needs. I was planning on originally just getting a dry kit, but I kind of want to give this thing a chance to survive uh, because we have no way to get in here with the tuner and richen the fuel up. Uh, but should be a good time. You know, this isn't going to be done exactly the way you want to build a nitrous car, but ideally you want to be able to put some ring gap in it, pull a couple degrees of timing and richen it up some, but you know what, for what we're doing here, this should be a hell of a time. Let's add some nitrous. All right, guys, we're back. It's been a couple days here while I've been tinkering, getting this thing put together here, but we have everything mounted up for the most part, not professionally. Look up here at the top here. So we got our solenoids mounted, uh, just sitting right there on top of the engine right now. I know it's not really the best, but for a short term, it's gonna do what we need it to do. I uh, went ahead and got the relay all wired up properly. Um, come over to here. That's where we got our uh, fogger spraying in. I don't know if you guys can see that fancy little shark on there. But tap that right into our nice kn intake, which I'm sure that's going to add at least 50 horse by itself. And then I uh, had to fabricate this uh, wide open throttle switch bracket because the one they sent us had like no way we could actually use it on this application. So I made up this janky thing on my uh, sheet metal brake, a little crooked, but it works. So that's all we need to do. So I'm happy with that. Come around here to the back. <clears throat> Got our bottle mounted in the truck and it's actually bolted down, surprisingly. I know it's a very unlike me to actually mount stuff safely. I take that back because that solenoid's obviously not the way it's supposed to be, but got our gauge on there. Everything's all routed up. It's really low on pressure right now just because it's so cold out here, but the tank is full. And then we did a no-no and ran our nitrous feed line through the interior of the car because I don't care. And then we started pulling uh, our key on switch. I picked up these uh, little fuse taps. I don't know if you guys have seen those, but those things are really nice for getting everything wired up. Not as janky as it used to be. I used to be able to pull out fuses and jab a wire into the fuse. A little spade. But I have grown a little bit since those days. Come over to here. Got our arming switch here. I got the thing mounted in a prescription bottle here but as soon as we arm that switch right there and as soon as we hit full throttle it'll start spraying nitrous so I have to kind of hold on and hopefully this thing holds together at least for a little bit I know it won't entirely but that's basically it I mean the thing's all mounted up so get ready to go for a drive here and have a little fun Let's this thing in focus. Um, as you guys know, I'm not really the one behind the camera normally, so my videography skills are lacking compared to Ahoff. Let's see how I'll use this fucking turd sandwich. Focus. Focus. All right, yeah, so everything's all mounted up. We are ready to go for a test drive here. Uh, I'm gonna get this thing off the stands and Luckily, the local gas station sells some 110, so we're going to get some of that. Try to give this thing a chance to survive. Uh, like I said, I'd really like to be able to pull some timing from this thing, but we just have no way to do it. Uh, I don't have a tuner. There's no manual adjustment, so... I'd like to try to put some good fuel in this thing to at least help with some detonation, or help to prevent some detonation. But I'm guessing we're either going to blow a head gasket or we're going to break a piston. I'm not sure which, but... I'm gonna go ahead and predict around the 150 shots when it's gonna happen. I think it'll hold on till then, but we will see. Pretty fortunate here at a local gas station that has some 110. 
I'm gonna fill this thing up a little bit, hopefully give this thing a chance to survive. I got Kendra in there, she's me the camera lady today. Probably make a couple of nitrous hits. Gassed up, we're gonna make a couple of stock hits here real quick. Got the draggy all loaded up here so we can check our quarter mile time. Seventeen second or seventeen point three seven at eighty mile an hour. Uh, our zero to sixty time was uh, ten seconds. So a lot of ground to make up. So I mean, that shouldn't be too hard to beat. So we'll go ahead and we'll get the bottle turned on. We'll make another hit here. See if we can pick up. So we don't have a bottle heater on this thing, unfortunately. So our pressure is really low we want it to be about a thousand we're at about 550 but we're gonna give her a launch anyway see what happens do is I'm gonna <clears throat> run this out to about 3,000 rpms in first gear and then I'll arm the system I don't want to shoot it too low below like a torque curve and kind of break everything like I said I want to try to keep this thing alive but we only have uh, jets in there for 35 horse right now so it's not gonna be too ridiculous but it should still be pretty interesting to see what happens here but, all right you ready we did was 17.3 seconds we picked up a full second we got 16.3 seconds at 87 mile an hour we picked up seven mile an hour just off a 35 shot and that is i'm very surprised there that's crazy our uh zero to 60 time was 8.9 seconds uh so we shaved a, more than a second off that it was 10.10 .10 before uh that's crazy i'm very thrilled there i'm excited to see what the bigger jets are going to do because these are just a 35 jets or jets for 35 horse we have jetting for up to 200 horse so we're going to work this thing up in a couple of steps here but i am pretty happy right now our draggy here so we're going to do the same technique as soon as we get rolled into about 3000 rpms i'll hit the nitrous and away we'll go all right you ready Jets loaded up in there for about 75 horsepower. So, 
little bit more than double the shot so kind of see if this thing holds together it might be a little bit of a bang but i'm just gonna hold on and give her a go you ready Up. We had a we got our bottle pressure up, so we got the bottle cooking right for the salamander there. We're about right up there where we need to be, about perfect. Uh, we were down about 500 psi, and now we're up to a thousand. That's going to make a heck of a difference. So we'll get this thing loaded up back in the car, and we'll update you then. We got our bottle heated up, uh, about there about a thousand psi. So should make a bit of a difference here. Um, let's give her a shot. You ready? So we just did that quarter mile in 15.31 seconds at 92 mile an hour. That's uh, we picked up a full second just by heating up the bottle. We had the same jets in it as before. All we did was just doubled our bottle pressure to where it's supposed to be, and that thing really you could feel it by the seat of your pants that time. I'm very impressed. Our uh, zero to 60 time is now down to 7.1 seconds. So, I mean, we've already picked up three seconds on our zero to 60 time just by doing a 75 shot. So, I'm Pretty happy with how this thing's turning out. All right, we're gonna try one more time here, make another hit, see if we can pick up anything. seconds off our stock quarter mile time that's that's awesome I'm happy with that all right we are loaded up with a 125 shot so we really amped it up here uh, we're gonna go ahead and log our fuel pressure so we can kind of see what's going on uh, make sure we're not running lean but do the same things before run out to about 3,000 rpms and we'll hit it uh, getting up there it can be a little exciting so you ready
sound too good. Go back and assess. All right, guys, so the issue that last pull you saw there, uh, we were out of nitrous, well, almost out. We had like just a pound or two left. Um, even though our bottle PSI was great, but like the actual weight of the liquid nitrous in the bottle, we were just about out. Um, there's a little draw tube that sticks down inside that tank, and as you guys saw, we have our tank mounted sideways, so like a little bit of an angle. So even though there's still some fluid down at the bottom, it's kind of sucking up a little bit of, uh, uh, not the vapor, the liquid, it's like basically gas, so it's starting to break up the top end. Uh, we went ahead, topped off our bottle, and that took care of that issue. Well, oopsie, brought the nitrous in just a little bit too early. I'm pretty sure we rattled the head gasket out of this side. I was burning out the exhaust pretty good. Uh, but we're not done with it just yet. We'll see if we can still squeeze out a couple more passes out of this thing. Also, I'd like to go ahead and note, uh, I don't know if the clips can be in there or not, but we did go ahead and weld up our diff uh, before we did that 150 shot. Uh, we got to the point around 75 or 125, I can't remember where, but as soon as we would hit the nitrous, it would just light that one tire up, I guess, instantly. Um, so, I mean, obviously, we would benefit a lot by locking up that rear end, but I'm not going to put a positive rear end in that little seven and a half. We went ahead and just welded her up really dirty style. Uh, I don't know if there's any clips of that in here or not. But, yeah, so we went ahead and did that before we did the 150 shot, and that helped immensely with our 60 foot. Uh, the thing just hooked and went, so it definitely helped out a lot. All right, finally got some beautiful weather here in Ohio. So today is the day we go for that 200 shot. If you guys watched that previous uh, nitrous backfire video, we ended up just blowing this coolant hose here. So we probably had to pressurize the coolant system somehow, either lifting a head or blowing an intake gasket. Doesn't matter. We're gonna toss these big pills in this thing and feed her the sauce. Well, we found a limit of a stock bottom end 3.8. 200 shot without pulling any timing is a little more than enough to scatter some rods. So yeah, on to the next one. All right, guys. So actually, uh, a lot of time has actually passed since we blew up this car. It's been about about a month and a half by the time you're seeing this video. But here are our pistons. We got a whole coffee can full of them. We got three of them in here. Uh, if any of you guys are wanting these things, go ahead and like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Uh, two weeks after this video goes live, uh, we'll pick a couple random people, mail them out to you. Uh, some of you are interested in, go ahead and do that. Uh, but we got this car down to a 14.3 and 98 mile an hour in the quarter mile, which is actually pretty impressive off of a 150 shot. Uh, picked up 20 mile an hour, shaved three and a half seconds off our quarter ET. So, I mean, that was fun. Uh, but now, that V6 is out of the way, we can move on to the main event, which is our supercharged six liter. We have been working really hard on getting this thing put together for you guys. Uh, there's a lot of videos coming up on the car too because we can't just drop a supercharged six liter into this Mustang and leave everything else alone. So we got a lot of videos coming on beefing this car up. It's gonna be great. Uh, really excited to bring that to you guys. But that's gonna do it for this time. Uh, get out in the garage, get wrenching, have some fun. We'll catch you guys on the next one. On behalf of all of us here at Broke Ass Motorsports Ohio, we'd like to thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed our video, please let us know by leaving a like or comment on our video. If you're new and would like to stay up to date on things, 
please subscribe or follow us on our social medias. The links to those will be in the description down below.